All right, uh, welcome back to Rise and Shine. It is the 1st of November and you are tuning on to your favorite morning show indeed. And as we promised you, we have a very special personality in the studios today. Well, speaking of science, I would say science is a way of life. It's a perspective. It's it's a study and it's a thinking that we uh, make in a different aspect. After all, we think different and come up with different inventions and new technologies to make things much easier uh, for the mankind. So. Today we have a special personality from the University of Colombo to is who is together with us in Rise and Shine. This is Fadil Iqbal. Good morning to you. Good morning, Putima. Pleasure to be here. So, Fadil, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, I'm a fourth year student uh, at the Department of Physics uh, at the Faculty of Science, uh, University of Colombo, and uh, this is my final year. So, over the couple of years, uh, I've been engaging in various various activities, and it's been pretty well. It's been a pretty well uh, and a good <laughs> journey that you've come through. So, yes. speaking of your journey, Fadil, you've participated and achieved a championship uh, at a national level uh, university competition that was organized uh, by the National Foundation, National Science Foundation of Sri Lanka. So, tell us a little bit about this. All right. So, the competition was uh, for all the university science societies uh, for digital storytelling mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. for the Science Day that is coming up in the 10th of November, they, they have given us a theme, Science for Healthy Living, and uh, each team was supposed to come up with, uh, with a short video clip uh, on how it can be done. Mm -hmm. So, right. uh, just tell us about how, what, like, so you must have done certain project uh, when it comes to the competition. So, can you tell us about your project, what you have done the Asma group or something? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I worked with a person called uh, Malinda De Silva. Mm -hmm. He and I uh, came up with a small storyline uh, because uh, it was really based on his story where he's suffering from a long distance relationship and uh, how he's using science and technology to connect with people. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> that's very <laughs> unofficial. Well, that's uh, pretty interesting. So speaking of uh, this competition, uh, you said that uh, it is focusing on the World Science Day celebrations. Yes. Uh, and uh, how is uh, this competition going to coincide uh, that uh, commemoration here in Sri Lanka? All right. So the National Science Foundation uh, is uh, it's dedicated for research, development and technology and uh, they usually organize workshops in schools and also encourage students to come up with uh, research activities and all of that, uh, especially whatever competitions they have, will be felicitated on that day at BMICH. Mm -hmm. So Fadil, uh, now so you're taking part in a lot of a lot of activities, uh, you know, in the in the uh, you know in your study uh, course and also on the outside. Now, how is the support you're getting from the university when it comes to your, at the uh, Columbia University? And so, how the support you're getting, uh, the support you're getting from them to com uh, com uh, complete your tasks and your achievements. So, for the competition that I went for, digital storytelling, uh, mm -hmm. it's actually the university, our department, that encouraged us to go for these workshops, uh, which was really beneficial for us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the university offers a various number of sports and clubs and societies you can get involved with. Okay, like that. And also, uh, recently, Fadil, you have also uh, won a few other awards, uh, being the most popular speaker of the year at the national level speech master uh, competition okay. uh, that was also held at the national level with uh, all the national universities taking part in it. Let us talk a little bit about this achievement of yours. Okay, so speech master is the biggest uh, inter-university competition held in this country and uh, it has from both state and private sector students. Uh, it's organized by the Gava Club of University of Sri Jayawardenepura, mm -hmm. and it has about more than 300 contestants come. So I actually managed to come to the top 12 of that uh, competition, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So how's the journey? How has it been like being the top cavalier, in, especially in Colombo, in terms of Colombo? How has it, the journey been? Like you know, you had to develop from one level to the other level, other level, and you had to take certain steps, certain like certain things that you had to achieve on the way. How has the journey been, the whole tour? Well, the story behind the Gala Club of University of Colombo is an extraordinary one because two years ago, uh, Dr. Asoka Ramanayaka and a group of students, including myself, mm -hmm. actually started the club okay. in our university. So, uh, you can imagine how hard it is to start something in a state university. True, yes. And we actually managed to do that within a short span of time. And the club uh, is growing really well. It has reached so many faculties and we have our own speech competition. So all of that happened uh, and I was so glad to be a part of all of it. Mm -hmm. 
all right uh, and also when speaking of uh, e-learning uh, distant learning Fadil play a very important role and uh, Fadil you're here today to speak about another important community project uh, that you've been working on as a part of a research that you're doing not as your final year research project I believe as a separate project so yes. let's talk about this and how important is it going to be for the community so a group of students, including myself, uh, we started this uh, small non-profit organization called IQ Labs. Mm -hmm. And what we do is, so remember the days when we were doing A-levels, and I always wondered, uh, when answering the past paper questions, mm -hmm. isn't there a YouTube video for that? Yes. And I thought, uh, okay, there isn't one, so why don't we make one? And that's the story behind IQ Labs. Mm -hmm. uh, our team is dedicated to making YouTube videos on how to answer A-level past paper questions mm -hmm. specifically dedicated for that mm -hmm. and it's free of charge so you can just go on uh, our YouTube channel and type uh, IQ Labs and you will get a list of videos mm -hmm. which are done by the undergraduates of our campus mm -hmm. and uh, IQ Labs has three avenues one is the online learning platform that's the screenshot oh, yeah. so those are the videos we have to offer mm -hmm. for now and yes Mm -hmm. uh, it covers all science subjects, uh, maths, physics, and chemistry. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, future we hope to give uh, laboratory videos as well, mm -hmm. and give it for free for students so they can benefit from it. Right. So, which language are these in? Is it in Sinhala or English? It's or? in Sinhala. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll get Tamil and then move English on to English. Well. Right. So, this project you are doing now, it's actually something that you're doing for the community. You're doing something for the uh, Sri Lankan community. So, how do you think it's going to benefit them? Well, the main problem, what I see is that uh, in the future, many pe people will have access to university. But access to proper laboratory facilities uh, will not be the same. Mm -hmm. Because students travel lots, uh, I mean, travel miles to come for tuition classes. Mm -hmm. And they spend so much of time and money on it. So what we plan to do is why not give it to them at their home and uh, for, I mean, for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, uh, how do you think uh, now when this is done that you can provide awareness to the schools, uh, especially for the students, uh, I believe uh, you need to give that sort of an awareness because this is something new. It's a new invention uh, sure. that you need to really uh, put out for the people to use it. So how do you hope to do that in the first place? So we first hope to uh, spread it across uh, specific schools in Colombo mm -hmm. and with the hype that is generated, go across to outstations. But the coolest thing is uh, next year we hope to use uh, virtual reality technology okay. that is uh, use your smartphone and an oculus rift right and then you're basically inside the lab you can wow. actually experience the lab there that is so that will take uh, quite some investments and research and development to do but uh, we are hopefully going to do that so right. you're currently working on this research is it for now, exams are coming up, so I'd like uh, <laughs> putting them on pause. Put it, put it on pause, <laughs> but definitely in January we'll start it again. Mm -hmm. Right. So Oculus Rift is something I would like, like virtual reality is something I would work, work on. So tell us, like, um, now you're actually doing this uh, invention. It might actually cost you some amount of money. How are you planning to find the uh, the you know cost and how how are you gonna like find the investments that you need? All right. So we've been taking part in certain uh, startup competitions uh, mm -hmm. such as Sima Launchpad and. Uh, mm -hmm. From there, we're getting ideas from people on how to monetize this. Not to ch charge the students, mm -hmm. but uh, people who like to advertise and who like to make use of the database, mm -hmm. uh, trying to make, see if there are any potential investors for that. Mm -hmm. Because the IQ Labs will be the biggest database of students in our country. All right. So how has the response been so far? Are you getting views or hits and likes and all that? Yeah, we are because uh, we sort of introduced it to a couple of school kids and uh, they're really amazed by it. Absolutely, because you know, like you mentioned, uh, you know, when it comes to A levels and all this, I remember my time. I used to go to classes. Like you know, going to classes consumes time, especially uh, with the broad network and everything. And also going there, not being able to repeat what the doctor, uh, what the, uh, the the teacher or the yes. tutor said, is something that you can achieve by watching these videos. So that's really something really great that you're actually doing. And mm -hmm. Fadil, on the other hand, uh, when it comes to a technology of uh, this sort, uh, creating the knowledge base is going to be a tedious task because you have to get everything in place in terms of a video. So how are you managing this? So uh, what I re recently started was that uh, I posted in a volunteer form and uh, so many people turned up, uh, which okay. I'm so grateful for. Wow. 
our batch of undergraduates, first year, second year, as well as third and fourth, mm -hmm. have uh, joined hands with us. So these people know science and they actually teach people, mm -hmm. uh, students. So I've been training them how to use the devices to draw on a tablet. Right. And it's been pretty amazing the whole experience of it. Right. So far, like you actually said, uh, you actually said that uh, people, like those who are contributing to this course, you know, from the from inside the university, uh, your friends, your colleagues, and your uh, students. So how can someone can someone else like from the outside if they want to? Suppose I want to help you with something I know about. Can I do that? Yeah, sure thing. How it's, can I connect with you? I mean, uh, mm -hmm. we have a Facebook page, uh, facebook.com/slash forward slash. Uh, iqlabs.lk you mm -hmm. can connect us with through that mm -hmm. or else uh, you can join us on our youtube channel and post a comment and we'll definitely pick up on that very well, that's very interesting because after all uh, it's always good that uh, you get a lot of researchers connected from diversified uh, yes. fields uh, when it comes to a project of this uh, caliber uh, that would enable a lot of uh, students here in sri lanka would be benefited as well and moving on uh, let's speak a little bit about uh, your final year research uh, what are you currently working on it? Uh, are you also doing a different uh, research or is it something related to what you are doing in the IQ Labs project? <laughs> if my supervisor found out, <laughs> it's completely different from what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. My final research project uh, is on uh, CKDU, Chronic Kidney Disease of Unknown Etiology, mm -hmm. which is uh, very much a prevalent disease in the north central region yes. of our country. So I'm actually doing a very basic version of it. But the research is on trying to figure out an early detection method mm -hmm. by scanning the ultrasound images of it. Mm -hmm. So they have performed it for liver ultrasound images mm -hmm. and this time uh, hoping to do it for kidney ultrasound uh, images. Mm -hmm. But what I'm doing is uh, very much like the basic step of it where we're training the computer to recognize between a deceased one and a normal ultrasound image. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, I mean, researchers are 50-50, you know, like you got to try and see if it actually works or not. But anyway, we had to try, right? Yeah, that's what matters. And it's all uh, through machine learning technologies mm -hmm. that you're doing, is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can see and these pictures. you can pictures. actually see it on screen. Could you explain this to you? You would like to explain All right, cool. Uh, so we have used, a, we have taken an ultrasound image uh, and uh, you crop the area. And uh, once that is done, you perform certain mathematical functions on it. Like, uh, if I get into details, it'll be boring. Root, mean, square, first moment, those kind of values. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you crop it again. So what we are doing is we are dealing with numbers here. We don't care about how it looks on the outside, mm -hmm. but those values we get, we're trying to see if there's a consistency between normal images and uh, deceased ones. Mm -hmm. right. So if we can actually find there are two separate, then the algorithm works. Right. right. So That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Another question that raised my mind was that now you're picking these uh, specific subjects, CKDUs, and uh, I think uh, I saw in Daily, Daily Mirror as well today that China is funding mm -hmm. 1 million uh, US dollars to Sri Lanka to find out on that. So that's taking that aside i'm asking you why this like uh, out of all these uh, that uh, possibility that you can uh, use as a project for yourself something that's health related you're actually doing it so why did you select this specific uh, course of direction all right so something uh, i've always believed in was that uh, science without application is of no use mm. we might uh, we might be the brilliance of minds have the best results in our academics but if we can't contribute that to our society to benefit our own people, uh, I see no point in it. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I was going through the topics, I found out that this is something that I can actually uh, do something to this society. With. So finally, how is the support that you're receiving from your family and uh, in terms of uh, these achievements and uh, in terms of all of this uh, work that you're doing to right. achieve in life? <laughs> My family uh, has been a tremendous support for me. Because, uh, to be honest, uh, I'm not a very academically uh, good student. That is, uh, I'm, I might be the last boy in class, pretty much that did. But they're actually tolerating all of that because they know I am uh, destined for other things. So I'm really thankful for that. All right. So, uh, Father Likwa, we are actually try, uh, running out of time. Thank you so much for coming in today and also accepting uh, the uh, for the, doing this uh, course, actually, when it comes to national course. So, uh, we hope all your future plans and everything comes into being as just as you want it to be. And thank you so much once again for being here. 
and with the mind it's time to wind up yes indeed thank you very much and all the very best to you father ikbal and thank with so that it's time to wind up our program on rise and shine today mm -hmm. on the 1st of november and see you same time same place tomorrow as well till then bye bye and take care from us